Paragonomyosis Paragonomyosis, infection with a trematode parasitic worm Paragonomus More than 10 species of trematodes flukes of the genus Paragonomus infect humans, the most common being Paragonomus westermani, the oriental lung fluke While P. westermani occurs in the far east, another species of Paragonomus are encountered in Asia, the Americas and Africa human infection with P. westermani occurs by eating inadequately cooked or pickled crab or crayfish that harbor the parasite. The parasites exist in the duodenum, penetrate through the intestinal wall into the peritoneal cavity, then through the abdominal wall and diaphragm into the lungs, where they become encapsulated and develop into adults. The worms can also reach other organs and tissues, such as the brain and striated muscles. Respectively, infections may persist for 20 years in humans. The acute phase invasion and migration may be marked by diarrhea, abdominal pain, fever, cough, urticaria hives, hepatosplenomegaly enlargement of the liver and spleen, pulmonary abnormalities, and eosinophilia an elevated level of eosinophils, a type of white blood cell. During the chronic phase, pulmonary manifestations include cough, expectoration of discolored sputum, hemoptysis spitting up blood, and chest radiographic abnormalities. Extrapulmonary locations of the adult worms result in more severe manifestations, especially when the brain is involved. Diagnosis is based on microscopic demonstration of eggs in stool or sputum, but these are not present until two to three months after infection. Biopsy may allow diagnostic confirmation and species identification when an adult or developing fluke is recovered. Prasequental is the drug of choice to treat paragonomyosis. Bithionol and triclobendazos are alternative drugs for treatment of this disease. P A R A G O N I M I A S I S Paragonomyosis